Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch here and I'm heading to the Curtain Pole Road Pond, a place that I first learned about from Brett Douglas. And it used to be my very favorite place to go and uh, see birds and photograph birds. And lately it's kind of slipped down the ranks a little bit, but uh, my friend Robert Scott has been seeing wood ducks with wood ducklings. A wood duck mom and six ducklings there the last few days so I decided to get up really early this morning to go check it out at 6:22 a.m. and sunrises I think today at 6:28. so really early on my off day um, my daughter and my girlfriend are back home both asleep and I'm going on a photography adventure so Hopefully this will work out. The last time I came here specifically to go to Curtin Road for a certain kind of bird, I was going to see uh, hooded mergansers, and I ended up not seeing them at all. Uh, but I did see um, some northern shovelers that day. Got some pretty good video. I'll put a link to that over there. But um, anyway, hopefully it works out today. I'd hate to wake up and do an hour round trip drive and not see anything. But I guess if you're seeing this video, I must have seen something. So let's see what I see. There is an Eastern Kingbird. That is a flycatcher. And they're pretty common this time of year at Curtin Pole Road. And I was looking for the wood ducks and the wood ducklings. And I didn't find them for a little bit. So uh, I was about to leave when I started seeing these. So. I made video of these eastern kingbirds and the next thing you know there's the ducklings there's the female wood duck and one two three four five six ducklings which is how many my friend Robert said he had seen he was concerned that some of them might not make it but they're all still here so that is great to see Here's what I'm shooting the wood duck and kingbird video with. The Nikon Z6, the FTZ adapter, the 1.7 teleconverter, and the VR500 F4G telephoto lens. I'm also using, to try to keep a little glare off the water, a drop-in circular polarizer, which I think has been a nice addition to my kit and the birds are all the way over there about probably 95 percent of the way across so you need a lot of gear to uh to get them in the frame pretty good oh look there goes a great blue heron up there might not even be able to see them with this camera also i'm in dx mode to multiply that 500 times 1.7 and another 1.5. It could be argued that male wood ducks are the most beautiful ducks in North America. Uh, some people might prefer some others like a hooded merganser, but the females are a little more plain, but they are still beautiful and the ducklings are very cute. I believe that right there is a kingbird nest. I've seen the kingbird go to it a couple of times and it's that nest which is right above where the wood ducks are right now is what helped me spot the wood ducks. So the wood ducks and the kingbird nest were all within about 10 feet of each other in this huge pond. I use the vibration reduction that's built into the lens and the sensor and I also use with this big lens I use electronic 
uh, vibration reduction, which crops the shot a little bit more, which is kind of good in this situation. And this big rig, the slightest bit of wind will make it wobble and that electronic vibration reduction takes it right back out. So I use all the tools at hand. Some ducks are diving ducks. They dive down underwater to get their food. Other ducks are dabbling ducks. They dabble on top of the water for their food. And as you can see here, wood ducks are dabbling ducks. And you can see the mama and the babies dabbling for food right here in the pond at Tennessee River Park Curtain Pole Road in Chattanooga, Tennessee. They say wood ducks will perch in trees unlike other ducks. Now I personally have never observed this but that's what they say and wood ducks will nest in tree cavities and they'll also make their nest in ne nest boxes. Uh, I'm not sure where these nested, but probably somewhere in the woods nearby. And there they continue to dabble and splash around a little bit. There's the kingbird on that nest. I think there's babies. I think it's feeding babies. I think I can see babies. It's kind of tricky to see. I could have sworn for just a moment there I saw some, at least one young bird being fed. It's hard to really tell. And look at this behavior. The kingbird is in the nest on top of the young bird. I don't know if that's to protect it from prey or if there's actually a bird in there, but uh, like I say, I'm pretty sure that I saw a young bird in there in this clip. And it's, what a great day to be able to watch these two different species of birds interacting with their young this close together. I mean, I wasn't even moving my tripod to, uh, to video these two scenes that you're seeing. Scoot on, little duck. And now we're back to the kingbird on the nest. Just maybe four or five feet above the water where the wood ducks are swimming around below. And there they are. You know, I said the female wasn't that pretty, but the more I watch this video, the more I think she's beautiful. Still protecting the young is the eastern kingbird in the nest. And back to the wood ducks. I'd shoot one for a little while until I got tired of that and then I'd shoot the other. These clips are being brought to you in the order that I, that I made them. And then the kingbird flew right near me. So near I really should have gone to FX mode because in DX mode I was more than filling the frame with the bird. This is on the near side of the pond instead of almost all the way at the back. But you can really see a lot of detail in this eastern kingbird that you can't tell in any of the other shots in this video. What a beauty. And they're really cool to watch fly because they're, like I said, they're fly catchers so they will catch flying insects in the air and either eat them or bring them back to the nest. And there's the nest. Check on the babies and then <laughs> squish the babies. Wood ducks, you know, they stayed in pretty much the same area, so I could kind of set up a shot and they would swim right into it. 
And on this one they swam into it from two different directions. This is the the tree or bush where the kingbird nest is. The nest is a foot and a half or so below this kingbird. And back to those cutie pie wood duck babies swimming around and dabbling. I thought I saw some activity on the other side of the pond nearer the parking lot so I went and looked and it was some tree swallows. Now this is nowhere near as close as you can get to a tree swallow at Chickamauga Dam and look at this prehistoric looking turtle. So on this next shot, we're back at the kingbird nest. And look at this, one kingbird is on the nest. And here comes the other one. So the one leaves and the other one has brought a moth or a butterfly. And you can definitely tell in this shot that there are young in that nest for sure. At least one, and I thought maybe I might have seen two for a moment, but definitely one without question. Although it doesn't seem interested in eating that moth or butterfly, it's struggling. No, I see another head moving. Definitely at least two. I wish this nest was maybe 20 or 30 feet closer. I sure would like to have filled the frame with it some more. I may go back in a week or two. Well, in a week or two, they'll all be fledged. So this will probably be the last time I get to to make a video of it, but I was thinking I might try the 2x teleconverter instead of the 1.7. But this is the first time I've ever seen uh, a kingbird nest. I, like I say, I've, I've been making photographs of these eastern kingbirds for a few years, and they're always a favorite to photograph because they're so pretty. this is definitely the first time I've ever seen one of their nests or their young so I was pretty thrilled about it as well as the wood duck leans the wood ducklings I was very happy to see it's nice to be back here at River Park Curtain Pole Road this morning uh, my old stomping grounds I tried to mix it up a little bit uh, instead of going to the exact same place every week like I used to I'm trying to to go someplace different. Of course, I've only got a certain number of places, so a lot of them will be repeats. But, uh, you know, if you get a little bit of time in between, there's different things to see at the different places. So, uh, I really appreciate Robert letting me know about the wood ducklings that were here. And I thought today's video was gonna be all about the wood ducklings, but I'd say it was at least 50% about Eastern Kingbirds and the Kingbird nest that I was able to, to get an eye on. So uh, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video and uh, if you liked it maybe you'll uh, hit the old thumbs up button or maybe subscribe that would really be nice and then you can catch more videos like this in the future. But in the meantime thanks for watching. I hope you had a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.